this year we're gonna draw a warrior. Yeah, we're gonna draw a Celtic warrior to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with, we're gonna use markers. And you also need some- Paper and shawl and color with. Yeah, and we're also using markers to color with. We're using our Art for Kids hub markers. So if you're using the same set, you can follow along with us using the same colors. We're also using marker paper to draw on. That keeps our markers lasting longer. All right, but they don't have to, right? Yeah. They, they can just use whatever they have at home or in the classroom, mm -hmm. like a pencil or colored pencils or even crayons. Yeah. All right, you ready to start? Uh-huh. This is what our drawings look like at the very end, so I really hope you're excited. And also remember, anytime during the lesson, you can also pause the video just to add different things to your drawing. You can change your drawing any way you want. Let's first draw our warrior's nose right in the middle of our paper. And we're gonna draw a kind of shape like this. It looks like the letter U. Yes. And then let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw an angry eye. So I'm gonna draw the top of the eye coming down close to the nose, but diagonal lines that come up. Now let's draw a circle or kind of part of a circle, right? So the top of it is underneath the eyebrows. Yeah. yeah, just like that. And then we can color this in, but I'm also leaving a little white spot for the highlight. Well, we can barely see it. We'll have to draw on top of it again with a white colored pencil. I was using the wrong side of the marker. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Okay. Now let's draw the eyes. We're gonna come down like this and then curve in on both sides. This is the outside of the eye or the white part. Cool. Now let's draw the mustache. And I'm gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes out like this and then down and then we're gonna draw it curving back up. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. We'll curve out from the nose, down and then back up. Yeah, and then let's actually extend on both sides. Let's come up past the top of the eyes on the left and the right. Yeah, and then let's give our warrior a headband. We're gonna draw a really cool headband. We'll draw a curve that comes across and connects those two lines together. Yeah, okay, now let's start here and we're gonna finish the mustache. Oh, let's start in the middle. We'll start right here underneath the nose and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and then curves up and ends on the side or where the cheek is. We'll do the same thing over here. Oh, it's starting to look really, really cool. Okay, now let's draw the mouth or the bottom of the beard. We'll draw a curve underneath. And then we could also draw his mouth inside. I'm just gonna draw a straight line across. Now let's draw the beard. First, I'm gonna draw an upside down V right here underneath the chin. And then we're gonna draw the outside of the beard coming down and connecting, or well, maybe even a little S curve too down here. And you could change the beard or even add other features to your warrior. You don't have to draw it exactly like us. Then we're gonna add another beard over here. I like that yours is different. This We're gonna draw this side coming down to match the other side. So you can match the same yeah, just like that. That looks really cool. Both of our drawings are turning out awesome, and I'm sure their drawings are turning out really cool too. What's the most important thing? To have fun. Yeah, and to? Practice. Practice, remember to have fun and practice. Okay, let's keep going. Now let's draw some hair. I'm gonna start right here, and maybe it comes down like this, and comes out on the side. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. We can draw curling down, and then in. Yes, and then let's curve back up and connect to the beard on both sides. Nice. Now let's draw the ears. We can draw the letter C over here and a backward C on this side. Whoa, I kind of drew big ears. <laughs> then let's add even more hair coming down. I'm gonna draw maybe another curve like this one next to it, and then we'll connect back in. And we could do the same thing over here. Come down and then back in. And then also let's add a little curve above the ears too, going into the headband. Now let's finish the headband. Let's draw a short line on the left 
and a short line on the right. Then we can connect those two lines together at the top. And let's also add details to the headband. We can draw a circle in the middle, maybe two circles on each side that are smaller. Now, anytime we go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. You can also pause the video if you want to change your drawings and add different things. Oh, let's add even more hair. I'm gonna draw a little line coming out of the headband on each side. And then we can draw a zigzag line coming back up on each side. And then let's start here and we'll draw a curve that comes out like this. Oh, and maybe some zigzags to connect into that side curve right there. Yeah, and you could even change your hair too. We're kind of drawing it straight, but you could draw yours curly or you could add more hair or maybe the top is bald. Oh yeah. <laughs> or you could give him a helmet. He could have a full helmet instead of a headband. Now we're ready to draw his body and his shield and also his sword. Let's first draw the shield. I'm gonna start right here next to his hair and I'm gonna draw a curve. Well, let's turn it into an oval shape. We're gonna come around and connect where we started. And then we can add even more details. I'm gonna draw a curve on the outside. Let's go behind the hair. Since we're so close to the hair, I'm gonna draw around like this and connect to the hair. Yeah, that looks really cool. And you can even add more things to your shield. Let's add a center oval that's smaller. Oh, and let's make it look like it's made out of wood. Let's draw a line straight down the middle, we'll connect to the center, and then we'll come out the bottom and continue that line. Then we can do the same thing right next to it, add another line straight down. And then let's add another line. And then let's do the same thing on the right side. We can add straight lines all the way till the whole shape is filled in. That looks really cool. Oh, let's add even more details. I'm gonna draw little circles around the border. So I'll add one at the top and the bottom, then we can add another one on the left and the right. Then let's split the distance between all of these. So I'm gonna draw halfway in between the other ones. This one's behind the hair, and maybe one right here, and another one over here. That's an easy way to make the, all of those little details evenly spaced around the outside of the shield. Now let's draw his body. Let's start right here on his beard and we'll draw a line that comes down and then we're gonna connect it into a shield. Then let's draw his belt. We're gonna draw a, another line straight across and we want the belt to be really thick. And then we can add a buckle. So I'm gonna draw one line. The rest of the buckle is behind the shield so let's draw another shape, kind of a rectangle shape inside that's smaller. Oh, we can even add more straps across his chest. Let's draw two diagonal lines. This one's going behind his beard, so I'm gonna only draw part of it. Oh, and we could also draw diagonal lines going the other way or another strap. So I'm gonna connect to the middle, and if you have room, I'm gonna Draw it right here going behind the beard. That looks awesome. Now let's draw his legs. We're gonna add some of his warrior costume right here. I'm gonna draw a line down and then we'll come across and connect to the bottom of the shield. Then let's also draw a diagonal line that comes out to the side and then we're gonna connect into that middle shape. Now let's draw his leg. We're gonna draw it coming out and then down, this is coming down to his foot. And then we're gonna do the same thing right here. We're gonna draw a line down and then down further. Nice. And then right here on the inside, let's draw this longer for his heel. 
And then we're going to draw his boot or his toes coming forward and then down. And then let's connect the bottom of his boot. Okay, let's also draw his other boot over here. We're going to draw a line coming down to match this line. Then let's measure this distance with our eyes and we're going to put it over here for the outside of his boot. And then we can draw the toes coming out and down. And then, yes, connect it in. Good job. There's the shape of his boots and his legs. Let's add the details for his boots. We're going to draw some armor on the front of his leg. So I'm going to draw a line that comes in, down, and then connect in. And then we can do the same thing over here. I'm going to draw it coming down from the shield and then connect to his shin. Then let's add some straps. I'm going to draw curves right here for straps across his boots. And we can do three over here on this side too. And this is where you can really add all the details that you want. You can change your drawings any way you want. And I'm going to add a bottom of the boots coming down like that. Oh, we could even add, let's add little circles like around the shield. I'm going to add one over here. What's he missing? His arm and his sword. Oh yeah, let's add it over here. Let's add a shoulder armor piece coming out from the beard. And then we're going to connect into his chest. Yeah, and if there's a little room like this over here, we can draw that same curve coming down so that it matches on both sides. Then let's also draw another curve at the very bottom of that armor piece. And we can add more of those circles like we have on his shield and on his boots. Now let's draw his arm coming down from his shoulder. And then we're going to draw it bending out to the side. Now let's draw a little dot right here for a guide dot. That's for his wrist. And then we're going to draw the rest of his arm coming down. Oh, let's draw the armor first. So let's connect from that corner down. And then we can also draw his wrist. Okay, now let's draw the rest of his arm coming up into his shoulder. Okay, now let's draw his hand. This is hanging on to the sword. So we're going to draw a big letter C coming out and around. And then let's draw his thumb. We're going to draw, it looks like a backwards J. And then we can add a little line for the rest of his fingers. And then on his hand, let's add the fingers. We'll draw one line in the middle. And then we'll draw a line at the top and a line at the bottom. And then we got four fingers. Now let's draw his sword. We're going to draw a really cool sword. Let's draw the line at the top. And then let's draw a shorter line at the bottom underneath his hand. And then we can draw the letter V for a really cool handle. And then right here, let's draw two short lines coming up. And then we'll curve down back up to connect those together. Then let's draw a line right in the middle going up. Then at the top, let's draw an upside down V. And then we're going to connect the left side down to the handle and the right side coming down to the handle. Let's add even more hair. I'm going to draw a curve right here coming down and then curving up. And then we can draw a curve coming back in. Then let's draw another curve coming out. It's like a curved zigzag. We'll go back in. This is a small piece of hair. And then maybe this time we'll come out and curve down. And then we can curve back in. Let's do one more zigzag curve coming out and curve back in. Oh, we could add even more. Let's do the same thing. Now you could do it any way you want. 
I'm going to draw a curved zigzag on the other side. <laughs> now he looks like a warrior. Yeah. That looks really cool, Austin, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this is my favorite part. I love how our drawings look, but they're going to look even better colored in. We will fast forward, so remember at the very end you can pause the video to match our same coloring, or you can color your drawings any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our Celtic warriors and they turned out awesome. Especially love how they look all colored in. Yeah, I also like the shadow because it makes it look like he's standing on the ground. Yeah, that looks really cool. It looks 3D. And I also added a few extra things like rocks. You could even add a full background. You could even add more details. And you don't even have to color it the same way that we did. You could change the colors any way you want. We used a lot of colors. We used our Art for Kids Hub markers. And if you have the same set, we used 25 for his skin tone. Then we also used 66 for his eyes, 22 for his hair, and we used 100 for his sword and also his armbands and some of the stuff on his boots. And we also combined two colors for his shirt and his shield. Yeah, those colors were WG5 and 62. We also used WG5 for the shield and also WG3 for the sword. Oh, you used WG5 for your sword. Yeah. 15 red for his pants and also 94 for the rest of his pants and the boots. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing warriors. We do, and we hope you take extra time to draw a background and even color your drawings. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.